Wolves and dogs are close relatives, even though most of dogs don't look like a wolf at all. But there are some breeds that resemble wolf by their appearance and temperament. In this video I will show you top 10 dog breeds that look like wolves. Number 10. Siberian Husky Let's start with the most famous wolf-like dog, Siberian Husky. This breed doesn't need much introduction. They are very popular all across the world. They are a little bit smaller than the other dogs on this list and they were bred in Siberia as to pull sleds. And as most working dogs, they are very energetic and they definitely need a lot of exercise. Number 9. Sarlus Wolf Dog. Crossbreed between German Shepherd and European Wolf, created in early of the 20th century. These dogs are very large, their height is up to 75 centimeters and weigh up to 45 kilograms. They were bred in Netherlands, but you can find them all over the world nowadays, and today they are recognized as a separate dog breed. Number 8. Kirksha. Very rare dog breed that was bred as working dog. They are characterized by a large, well-defined body with the looks of a wolf having a massive head with erect pointy ears, almond-shaped eyes and a broad muzzle. These dogs don't act like a typical dog, typical domesticated dog. They have their wild side. So they are not good choice for, let's say, typical and normal dog owner. Number 7. Utonigan. This is pretty mysterious breed. They were probably created by mixing Siberian Husky, German Shepherd and Alaskan Malamute. They are a new dog breed from the late of 20th century and they are described as loyal, active, intelligent and social dogs. Number 6. Swedish Walhund. Smallest dog on this list and probably the one that looks the least as a wolf, but they still resemble them. Swedish Walhund is a herding dog and they used to herd mostly cows. Unlike most of other dogs on this list, Swedish Walhund is perfect as family pet. They are loving, playful, definitely fun to be around, but on the other hand, they are known for being pretty noisy. They bark a lot. Number 5. Northern Inuit Dog just like with Utonigan, Northern Inuit dog is probably a mix of several other wolf-like breeds like Alaskan Malamute, Siberian Husky or German Shepherd. They weigh between 25 to 40 kilograms and their personality is described as husky-like, which means they are very or extremely active, very friendly and very playful. Number 4. Alaskan Malamute Another dog developed by Inuit people. They were used for transporting people and other stuff across frozen and rough terrain. Malamutes are ideal family dogs and they are very people oriented, easygoing, friendly and they are great with children. They do have a lot of energy but in comparison with for example Husky they are more laid back. Uh, the bad thing about Alaskan Malamut is that they are known for being pretty stubborn. Number 3. Tamaskan. These dogs were bred to look like wolves. They were developed by crossing several breeds like Czechoslovakian Wolfdog, Husky or GSD. Not so long ago, in 2013, they were recognized as a separate breed and they are actually pretty playful and they make good family dogs. But they do require a lot of socialization, patience in training and a lot of exercising. Number 2. Canadian Eskimo Dog Big dog with weight between 30 to 40 kilograms with husky-like coat. They were bred by Inuit people to pull their sleds. Some people are saying that this is the oldest breed in North America. They have very high prey drive, so it can happen that they hunt down small pet animals in your house, but otherwise they are very friendly and affectionate dogs. Number 1. Czechoslovakian Wolf Dog Another young dog breed developed in 1950s as a military experiment in former Czechoslovakia. They were developed by crossbreeding German Shepherd with Carpathian Wolf. Because of that, they have a lot of personality traits like real wolves. For example, they need their pack because they hate to be alone. They love digging holes, they have late maturity and they love cold climates. They need experienced dog owner. They are suspicious towards strangers and they need a lot of mental and physical 
physical stimulation. It's impossible to domesticate a wolf, but as you can see, you can have a breed that looks like a wolf, but acts like a dog. But most of these dogs are not good for novice dog owners, so think twice before you will adopt or buy one of these. Tell me in comments what wolf-like dog is your favorite. And if you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check our Instagram and Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.